I've had to have many tough conversations with people telling them they did not get promoted, telling them they got a lower rating than they were expecting. And it's tough. It was very stressful for me. It always has been very stressful for me. Here's the thing. I guess one thing I have found useful is that I have been able to, for the most part, set the expectation up front. So there isn't a surprise or the surprise isn't heartbreaking. One of the management tactics I've used is in addition to one-on-ones, I want to offer you the option of setting up monthly career chats. And these will be one-on-ones, but they're not like our other one-on-ones. And you can bring up career stuff in our other one-on-ones as well. But I have noticed that the highest performers don't bring up those issues because they're always like, they want to show this, like they're making progress, they're go-getters, etc. So they only talk about projects. If they talk about career, it's only about the logistics and like, when's the next promo cycle, blah, blah, blah. And so I want to offer you the option. It is not a requirement. I want to offer you the option of doing monthly career chats with me. They can be one hour, they can be 90 minutes. And they can happen on your schedule and it's your agenda and I will help guide that agenda. And effectively, it was a way for me to like give people deep coaching and deep mentorship, but at their option and in a way that they didn't feel like they had to perform in that conversation. Because oftentimes people feel like they just need to perform to their manager. So I wanted to let that guard down. And, and in the career conversation, even if you start with the pleasantries, hello, how are you? How are things going? Even if they brought up any kind of like, you know, oh, this project, this like, I'm like, no, we're not talking about this in this conversation. If you want to talk about this, let's set aside 30 minutes afterwards in the day. But in the career conversation, all we talk about is career. The ones that did take it, you know, and had that monthly chat with me, they knew what is going to happen. They knew exactly the journey to get to the next level and the next level after that. Like even if I told them, okay, we can apply for your promotion. In all cases, I would let people on my team know that like, look, I, I think this is a tough one. I will advocate for you, but this may not happen. So setting that expectation up front helps a lot. So that's one aspect. Now let's say, you know, one hasn't done that. And like, you still need to have the tough conversation. A lot of the standard stuff applies, right? Like you need to own the decision. You cannot blame the promo committee. You cannot blame the company. You cannot say, oh, this person in the promo committee was an asshole and like, you know, got in the way. A lot of managers, by the way, do this, right? Like, and it's, it's just wrong because you're not doing anybody any favors. You're just feeling good about yourself. You're trying to make the other person feel like you're a good manager, but that's not your role. So you need to own the decision and you need to share it objectively. And the way I typically typically do it is like when this happens, I also clarify to them the concrete gaps. So not the bullshit of like, well, you need to have created a roadmap and the committee did not see evidence of having created a roadmap. So that's why you didn't get promoted. Remember the antithesis principle, even if you've been subject to it, make sure you don't subject your people to this bullshit. Right. And so, so like I would give them concrete reasons. Another thing I think in my case that helped me pretty much every situation I was in, I had massive amounts of credibility within the organization. Right. So like I would say, like I had some tailwinds, which is it was easier for me to advocate for people that I thought deserved a promotion and to have a higher success rate when advocating than for many or most of my peers. Right. So, so that also made things like better for me as a manager. Uh, by the way, the lesson there is not like, oh, look at me. I'm so great. I'm just saying you can do the same, right? Like figure out how you can get greater credibility within the organization. Easier said than done, but it can be done because if you do that, your effectiveness will increase in, you know, helping people get promoted. 